Here's a sneak peek from one of my latest lectures about heart disease, America's number one killer. Share it with your friends, family, and loved ones. I want to take an opportunity now to elaborate a little bit more about the pivotal role diet and nutrition play in the development of heart problems. As a nation, we're all suffering from bad eating habits and an alarming amount of deaths in the United States from heart disease, stroke, and diabetes, which can all be categorized as cardiometabolic diseases, are associated with a suboptimal diet. And there's a recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association that puts the problem into sharp focus. Naturally, the researchers and I differ in some respects in regards to what constitutes a suboptimal diet, but the general message is one we can all agree on. What we eat and what we don't largely determines our health outcomes. According to this study, high sodium intake was the biggest dietary culprit in cardiometabolic disease-related deaths. That's the part I take the biggest issue with, since in general, salt is not a big concern of mine. Unless you're consuming vast quantities of it, I just don't see it as an issue. So if you're eating fresh, organic foods and salting them to taste, I can virtually guarantee you're not going overboard on sodium. But here's where salt does become a problem. The people who are consuming the most sodium tend to be getting it from unhealthy sources, like fast food and junk food. And those types of foods on their own are a source of cardiometabolic disease. The next biggest dietary risk factors for cardiometabolic disease in the study were high intake of processed meat, low consumption of omega-3 fats from seafood, low intake of nuts and seeds, not enough vegetables and fruits, too many sugar-sweetened beverages. How big a risk do these factors pose? Let's look at the numbers. This particular study analyzed statistics from 2012. They found the following. Not eating enough vegetables and fruit killed nearly 106,000 people. Not eating enough nuts and seeds killed almost 60,000 people. Not getting enough omega-3s from seafood killed approximately 55,000 people. And overall, nearly 320,000 Americans died because of poor diet. One thing I found particularly notable about this study is that the researchers pointed out that just about as many people died from not eating good foods as from eating bad foods. Or as the study put it, suboptimal intake of specific foods and nutrients was associated with a substantial proportion of deaths due to heart disease, stroke, or type 2 diabetes. The main takeaway of this study is that if we want to make a dent in heart disease and stroke in this country, we need to start with food. Of course, I'm always encouraged when I see a study backing up what I've been saying for years. But at the same time, the deafening silence that follows is incredibly frustrating. We have now, for what seems like the billionth time, identified the root cause of the catastrophic health status in our country. But do you think the powers that be will throw any public health muscle or budget into changing it? Not likely. But the fact remains, nearly half of all deaths from heart disease, stroke, and diabetes are directly caused by diet. And whatever the government and medical industry does, you can make a better choice and eat the foods that can save your life. And there's another huge change you can make starting today that will also save your life. And it involved, once again, ignoring the recommendations from those greedy powers that be.